It's a feeding trough. Just some fence posts. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right. Good to hear. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Looks like that bell's driving the, uh, whatchamacallit, um... Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast! Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast! I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage, some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. It sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? It means you can't trust them. Any of them. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long.
So, Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, dog. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. You wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. us, we had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? 
Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all. Any baseball trophy. Hmm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. High school diploma. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. Any baseball trophy. Hmm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Gauze pads. I could use a shave. Some kind of lotion. stuff. Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Musty as hell. Candles. Smart. What do they need so much morphine for? Huh, where is that cord going? up here resting. Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's crazy. What the hell? Now. You're scaring the kids, Lee. 
leave. What the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking Don't out of come here! here my fucking Mommy, family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? Ah! I'll kill you! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They—they they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up, Lee. Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads up and, and make you swallow them. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, easy! Uh, the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. 
Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna what? turn! You're putting all of us at risk, you son Three. of a bitch! You're Four. fucking worthless, Lee. <laughs> It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Yes. For now, but we still need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie talking? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. What now? What? You don't want to hang me up on a meat hook and leave me to rot? What I want isn't important. What I know is there's safety in numbers. You got any ideas? The air conditioner. Look, if we're gonna survive this shit, we've got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. I'm sorry, Lily. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. Kenny, he made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but he was trying to keep us safe. Bullshit. He cares about keeping his family safe. He doesn't give a shit about you and he me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. -mm. Not coming off that way. Please, I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, or a coin or something... No. What about... him? 
Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Do the honors and search Larry's pockets? I'm not going near Lily. Not now. If somebody's got to search his pockets, it better be you. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. 